G'day and welcome to MW Laser. Now I've had a couple of requests uh, for this video and that is how to use the circular array tool in uh, Lightburn to create the coasters that I do to have these uh, nice patterns that have been repeated around the circle. And uh, I'll be using some three millimeter plywood to cut it out on my machine. So the power and speed settings are relevant to my machine. So if you're cutting it on yours, just set the correct power and speed settings for the, uh, the correct material on your machine. So we're going to have a look at Lightburn and how to use the circular array tool to create these repeated patterns around a circle. So these are some designs that I've already made with the coasters and I want to show you how to uh, create the circular array of the different patterns. So first of all what we'll do is we'll use the circle creating tool and we will make a circle and uh, unlock the aspect ratio here for the height and the width and change it to 100 by 100 millimeters so we get a perfect circle. I'm going to just change that to the cut color which is actually red and now what we're going to do is create some segments so this is 100 millimeters so we're just going to create the radius and we'll create a, a line that is um, 50 millimeters long so unlock the aspect ratio change the width to zero and create the height at 50 now what we can do is change this to a different color so it's only going to be a guide so I've just changed it to a purpley pink color. So now what we can do is select this uh, radius line first then select the circle line and use these tools at the top. Now these align the first shape with the last shape selected so you can align the uh, first shape with the edge of the last shape or the top. So we want it at the top and also in the center. So the other thing is this one here which is aligned both vertically and horizontally so we put it in the middle which doesn't work for us. So we put it in the middle and then to the top. Now what we do is select the first line and then select the uh, outside of the circle and we use our circular array tool. So the circular array tool comes up and we start at 0 degrees and end at 360. Now I'm making 6 copies but you can change this to however many segments you want in your circle. Now the uh, important things are these uh, start and end stop, uh, sections so if these were out then your segments wouldn't be even. It's starting at what degree on the circle and then ending at 360. So if this is at minus 10 then it would be this one here would be 10 degrees shorter. So we want to start at the right aspect of 0 and 360 degrees and we'll make it uh, 6. Now I'm going to say OK. So I want to show you why it's important uh, the order of selecting uh, the shapes when we're using the circular array tool. With this first one we selected the line first then the outside of the circle and used the circular array tool to create uh, those segments. But if we actually select the uh, the circle first this time and then the radius or the line and use the circular array tool it would create the array around the center of that line so the center point of that line. So we can see that it's creating the radius uh, the uh, array around the last shape that we selected. Another example would be let's put another shape just over here and if we select the line and then select the second shape and use the circular array tool it would array the uh, extra lines however many times around the center of that last shape. So that's why we're using the uh, selection tool to select the line first then select the circle and it would then create the array around the center of the circle and uh, make them all line up. So when we uh, create our circular array, we see that they're all uh, nicely even around the center of that circle. So what we're going to do is use these shapes that I've got over here and we're just going to do a quick pattern and we'll create the pattern to make some stars and shapes and things like that inside one of these segments. So we just um, position any pattern that we want in there and then if we ungroup it we can copy shapes and make more shapes. We can use the handles on the tools on the shapes to change the sizes, use the corner ones to rotate and um, we could use a flip button up the top here we have to horizontally or vertically flip so we can flip the shapes to however we want. We make this one here at the bottom just a little bit smaller 
Now if I hold the control key on the keyboard and grab the corner handle, it will keep the aspect ratio the same and shrink the shape as we go in and out. So I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. So now what we'll do is just select those shapes there. After you've selected those shapes, you could then hold down the control button on the keyboard and select the outside of the circle. And then we use the circular grid array and we'll repeat that six times. And as you see, if we were to say OK, then it would repeat that uh, that many times around. And then we could turn off the output on our um, guidelines or our radiuses there, the different segments, and we could send that to cut. What I'm going to do now is just select that last one and um, we will send that to the laser and cut that one out. So there we've got our coasters and uh, you can repeat the patterns as many times as you like and make sure that they all fit in the circles. And uh, this one here is done about six, repeated six times and here we've got one that's uh, repeated 15 to 30 times, it depends two different patterns here. And then it um, just depends on how coarse you like to have the pattern and how in intricate the design. It's whatever you can imagine, you can create some uh, pretty cool looking coasters. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you did give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. Until next time, take care. Cheers.